guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. By a parent that abuses their child or children on bed, is a, there will be a separate punishment. And two, not having a self control on their children and not well disciplined. Actually, any parent should be God fearing, having God in mind. Because if you are not focused on God, the devil might make you to mislead on things. And uh, according to the law, which is being abided in this our country, that any child abuse, there is a separate punishment that is meant for that particular person that commits such offense. Maybe the person should be jailed, maybe it's six months or a year imprisonment and uh, with God fearing if you can bring the person to the church or any other place I hope there will be a, 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 a convince of that particular attitude so for other for the viewers that are viewing me in YouTube or whatever the world they should take it as an advice be self-control, self-discipline, and God-fearing. Thanks. There are many factors that contribute to child abuse. One of those factors as kind of a single parent. Single parent is one of the factors that contribute to child abuse. In a situation where the mother left the father and the child left with the only the father or the mother, so possibly such side will prune as in we're exposed to certain things that will not be end as in good enough for his life or our life. So it's better for the government to do something about it. Not something that they can just take out the leave for the parent alone. If governments have something in place, like for instance, a law in a place that those people that normally take advantage of those as in those children, like all these ten years or are those ones that are walking in the street. So if government can do something about them. If you are caught sleeping with an underage child, you, are, you, 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 you pay for it. Then, someone, you see someone they use a scapegoat, then you, you, you other people will sit up. They will, they will run from it. They will not do it. Yeah. Um, uh, what I believe that should be done to avoid the child abuse in the society is to bring the, the child in the way of the Lord by raising them through godly way and they also avoid them from hazard society in the sense that when you expose your children to hawking business under age children it will warrant them to go through that process and uh, if you look at the biblical point of view uh, it's abominable unto God to expose young children to such criteria in their society. To a parent that abuse their own children. Their own children. Or, or maids. Maid. Okay, what you should do to a parent that abuse their children or maids. Okay. Yeah. So anybody you are ready? Anybody that abuse children or maids should be punished deathly. Ten years imprisonment is okay. To learn a lesson. Talking about child abuse, um, at the state we have now, I think the life we have now, we are not permitted. I won't use the word permitted, but there's a way we can correct our children without abusing them. Um, and talking about maids, we are not allowed, for the fact that they are working under us doesn't give us the right to maltreat them, not to talk of abusing them, either verbally or whichever way. We are not, um, we are not permitted to abuse 
anybody, not even our children. It's, it is, it's, it is domestic, domestically um, violent, and it's not good. It's not healthy for anybody. For the children, it, it, it may lead to them not even ready to listen to you as a parent. They may decide not to, they, they may decide to do that which you actually punish them for. Why not sit them down? Children these days understand the fact, um, they understand this fact of parents calling them, sit them down like an adult, reason with them. If you think the child is not understanding you reasoning with such a child, yes, um, the rod of chastising a child should not be totally taken away, but not to abuse them. Okay, what I think is uh, the parents should be used by, they, they should be, okay, so they should use the law to get them, you know, accused. The law should hold them. You understand? Because I don't think it's right. I don't think abusing your child is right, especially now in this time. You know, as a parent, you're supposed to reassure your child, take care of your child, protect them. So not abusing your child. You understand? All childs are the same. Male, female, they are both equal. So the same goes for male and female. You understand? So you don't abuse a child. Either you correct a child. In this time of the in this age, you don't even, you are not supposed to use a cane to correct a child. You are supposed to call the child, you know, reason with the child. Most child, they get correction from reasonings, not even by using the cane or using violent acts or something like that. So I believe when a child is, when, the, when such method is being used, I'm sure that child would think well and also, you know, do, take corrections and do well. To me, the parents that abuse their children at home, or maybe you're a guardian that abuse your uh, children at home, I believe they should be punished severely. Because why will you want to abuse a child that you brought into the world? So I believe you need, uh, such parents need a very severe... Right, my opinion today is, is just the fact that the government should really provide uh, an avenue for orientation. Parents should be given orientation and then good awareness of how best they could stop and then cease from maltreating children would really help out. If the awareness is given constantly, then we'll get better results. Parents that abuse their children, number one, doesn't have any reason or purpose to have that children up. Any reason for those children to be entrusted into their hand because they don't have the purpose for it. Because when purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable so for any parent to abuse a child number one is number one it is so clear that that parent doesn't even have any reason for that child to be entrusted into her, his or her hand because he doesn't know number one value is not there because whatever you don't value you don't respect number you don't value those children and when you don't have a value for anything you don't respect it i think the orientations of the people i mean the 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 knowledge, the brain, the thinking of the people should be reorientated. The government, and it's not the, go it's not the fault of the government, but all the same, any parastatal, any institution, church, mosque, NGO, the government, everyone should come together. Um, I won't call it a fight, but I will call it a mind change, to bring change, to influence the people, especially the less privileged one, the illiterate one, the so-called mediocre one that doesn't even have value for living. Talk less of having value for the children. Because when you have value for living, when you have value for, for your own life and for the life of those children, when you know the purpose why God entrusted those children, that those children are meant to influence the society. A child that is not even influenced cannot influence people. A child that is not changed cannot change people. So I, I think by and large, on my summary, I submit that... Child abuse is getting more escalated because of lack of purpose and value for the children. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment with our If federal governments later discover that coronavirus is a scam in Nigeria, man, if I have my way, I can kill everybody in the federal house. <laughs> The coronavirus is what? It's scam.
No, 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 no. A coronavirus is not scam. Is yeah, it's a pandemic. A pandemic that already. When you read the book of Matthew 24, my Bible made me to understand that when that time is about to come. Yeah, the, 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 the world will be exposed with so many things. Viral diseases, fake prophecies, fake ministries, fake information. But in the area of coronavirus, it's, um, it's real. Corona is real. But from the point of view, or from the research I've already observed, I've gone through a series of uh, findings. I found out that in some part of the uh, Asia, uh, China, and up other part of the Asia continent, coronavirus has killed so many people. And uh, in our own uh, uh, African context here, I believe the climate here is very hot. But that doesn't mean that coronavirus does not exist. But what really happened in the nutshell is that uh, our people in authority use the pandemic for their own selfish interests by using it to uh, um, make money from the foreign counterpart. And that's the world community, which I believe is not professional to my own layman understanding. If the federal government say that a coronavirus disease is a scam, to Nigeria, you know that they say that uh, a market that you organize is not good for you to spoil the market. It's the federal government that started the lockup of COVID-19. And if they turn, turn, turn up now and say that the coronavirus is a scam, I don't think it's advisable to the individuals. I don't think it's advisable to the doctors, to our health uh, specialists, I don't think it's advisable. But according to the scam, you know, we in Nigeria, we believe in evidence. If there is no evidence, you know, there have been counting number in NTA, there have been counting number in different DSTV. So that is why the individuals have been saying that it is a scam. There is no evidence. But if you go to London, Germany, that place that coronavirus is there, People are experiencing it, and there is evidence. People are dying on the road, and you know, they are, they are go government is taking care of the citizens. And here in Nigeria, we are taking care of ourselves. You know, things in Nigeria is always scam. But if the federal government said that it's a scam, I don't think it's advisable given to the individuals. I don't even need anybody to tell me that coronavirus Nigeria is a scam, because they use it as a kind of means to 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 amass weight. To, to, to make themselves rich. I knew fully well that the coronavirus is very rich, very, very rich. But the way they are just manipulating the figures every day, every day, every day, every day, you know that fully well that this thing is just a scam, not nothing. They're using it to just get anywhere every day. So I believe it's a very, it's a witch scam, not just a, a scam. Okay, coronavirus is a scam in Nigeria. What will I do or say? Eh, the truth of that is, the many many of those things are fake. I accept with federal government if they say it's a scam, I accept. Yes. I can't say it's a scam because we know it's real. Okay, if they come out tomorrow and say it's a scam, it's it's their fucking business. It's not mine. If they should do that, I would. Uh, well, I will feel disappointed, but life goes on. I won't uh, do anything. I just accept it as, you know, probably, you know, we are all imperfect. So they had misinformation. So I wouldn't insult them. I wouldn't say all sorts of negative things. I would just accept it as normal thing. That sometimes you get information that are false or they are not correct. So I, they didn't get the right information. So just encourage them next time they should be sure of it before you know, saying that. I'm telling you, it's really going to be so ridiculous. Considering all preventive measures that have been on with, it's really going to be very ridiculous. People would not take it lightly. It's not going to be funny at all. People later get to know it's a scam. 
But I am very much assured that it's actually not a scam. But the point is, it's been exaggerated more than we all expected. Hi, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the land, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose masks to be protected above all guys let's stay safe That's it on trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Eniola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during this.